Hi guys, so today's question is diffuse the bomb. It has been solved. So <clears throat> it is a quite um, uh, easy question, but quite uh, challenging one. So you have to see the description. So you have to create. You have to take in mind the edge cases of this this problem statement. So you have to diffuse the bomb, and your time is running out. Your informer will provide you a circular array of code of length n and k k. Okay. So have you diffused the bomb, and the code is given. in the form of code and a key is given to decrypt it to decrypt the code you must replace every number all the number replace simultaneously okay so k is given if k is greater than 0 in this case k is greater than 0 replace the ith number with the sum of next k numbers and it is a circular array keep in mind so like you have, you are in 5 you have to replace 5 with 7 plus 1 plus 4 okay now you at 7 you have to replace it 1 plus 4 plus 5 so it is a wrapper Similarly, the edge case when you are at four, you have to replace it five plus seven plus one. Okay, k is equal to zero. It is very simple case. All will be zero, and k is minus two. K is less than two, so you have to replace two with nine plus three. Okay, uh, four with two plus three, nine with four plus two, and uh, three with four plus nine. So it seems to be easy, but quite uh, you have to keep in mind the edge cases. So keeping in mind three cases. Int a is the answer, which is equal to the code code dot length. Sum and count I have taken. I will uh, explain you forward. And g is the uh, ith value of the uh, indices of the a array, which is the answer. So if k is greater than zero, I have iterated the array. So there will be two condition. Either it will come at the end, and I have to wrap around. This condition will come later. First. Okay, let me change this problem statement to first one. Okay, so coming to five, it will come from seven plus one plus four. So this condition will not be executed because this is I have taken for the edge case. Okay, it is easily executed from the seven one plus four plus five. So how will do our end wrap around? It will come to us because it is not now the num sub five is not equal to four. It is at seven. So first, it will see that it is not equal j is not equal to length minus one and count is not equal. So count I have taken count if it is equal to three, then we have to break and store the sum in the resultant array. Otherwise. You have to keep it uh, until the wrap. This is for the wrap around. Okay. If it is not wrap around, then we we need to uh, uh, do the sum. Like in this case, for the five, we have to do the wrap around seven plus one plus four. So it will not never come to this condition. Okay. It will directly break from this because now for the uh, seventh one, one plus four now. It will come here. J is equal to code length. We have already added the four, number four, and the code is still at two, and the count is not equal to k. Two is not equal to three, so we have to wrap around from the zero to length minus one. Again, we have to plus the count, add to the sum. If now count is equal to k, we have to store it in the that position g and increment the g. Initially, g is zero. Again, count and sum. Will be equal to zero for the next iteration and break. Okay, this is for the wrap around. And if it comes to four, this condition, so it is four. Now we have to wrap around from the zero to length minus one. We will not go to length minus one. If it is equal to k, we will break and store it same way. It is doing the wrap around after four. It will do the wrap around five plus seven plus one. Same for the condition if it is minus two. So we have to do uh, same condition now. Not for the i in length minus for i is equal to zero. We have to see the previous two elements. So from the code dot length minus one, if k is greater than zero, same we will do the plus if count is equal to two. And first for foremost thing, you have to do this because it will be given in the negative number. So you have to change the positive using the math dot absolute given the Java dot length package. Okay, for the edge cases like i is equal to zero, you have to wrap around. You have to see the previous two cases, and the next cases will be easy. Just you have to reverse the loop. J from the previous j and j greater than is equal to zero. J minus minus. You have to increment. And if j is equal to zero, 
means it is at the first position so you have to wrap around like from the last to the till it becomes equal to k and this condition is for this uh, simple statements where we need not to wrap around you will break 